Guys, it just does not end in boxing, does it? I swear. We got another robbery. The uh, undisputed light heavyweight championship uh, happened over this past weekend. Dmitry Bivol versus uh, Archer Beterbiev, both undefeated fighters. Um, gave Beterbiev a majority uh, decision. So one judge had it a draw, two judges had it for Beterbiev. All absolutely BS scorecards. Uh, I myself had it 9-3 to three for Bevo. Uh, could have seen 8-4. to four. There was one round that was questionable. Could have gone either way. I think it was like round... It was one of the early rounds for sure. But um, yeah, absolute dominant performance from Bevo in every way. I mean, better be of, he, he had him he had him on the run the last two rounds, pretty much. In 11 and 12, Bevo started to get a little tired, it looked like. But he had already put in, put in the work through the whole fight, through 10 rounds. He was up. He had a big lead, as far as I'm concerned, on the scorecards. He was, you know, he was going to the body well. He was do, giving him angles. He was, you know, giving one-twos. A uh, couple times he, he hit him with uh, three-punch combinations. You know, he'd come come with the jab, a, a straight right to the body, a left hook up back up top. I mean, brilliant performance by, by B-Bowl. And these dumbass judges robbed another fighter again. So it never ends in boxing. It's just sickening to see. It It makes no sense. I don't know what the hell these idiots are watching. I really don't. Again, I'll say it again, and I've, as I've said for over 20 years, I really hope they were just paid off because I, I would rather that be the case than, than there actually being judges that are this stupid about the sport of boxing and that could actually think that better be of won the fight there's no way possible if you disagree with me please drop it in the comments and explain how you thought he won every time basically other than the last two rounds and you know one or two other rounds in there where he pressed the action they were nothing punches they were, for the most part, when he would throw, he wasn't throwing them crisp at all. He was, They were pushing punches, you know, they were kind of lethargic, they were kind of slow. And the ones that were landing while they were doing damage to be bold, better, better be a dangerous, dangerous puncher, we know that. But while they were doing damage to him, they still were not landing flush. They were not landing clean at all. A lot of them were somewhat blocked. Most of them were completely blocked, which again, I'm sure Bivol felt that even so, but that's not a landed punch. That should not be tallying up points for these dumbass judges. Um, so like, yeah, now in rounds 11 and 12, he pushed the action, he got some through, and Bivol was starting to you know, he was starting to get tired for sure. He was really feeling the effects. Uh, B Better Bev had some good moments to the body as well. Um, this is nothing against Better Bev. I respect the hell out of both fighters, like them both. I picked Bevol to win before this fight happened. Um, uh, and I actually went with an eight to four card. That's about what I thought it would be. Um, like I say, I had it nine to three, but one of those rounds that I gave to uh, Bivol, I could see reversing that. So eight to four. Eight to four is the closest possible that I could have seen. Uh, let me know what you thought. Um, like I'll say it again, it was just a it was a great performance by Bivol. Um, he 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 stuck to his game plan. You know he he. Um, like I say, he would he he showed brilliant footwork basically the whole fight, other than those last two rounds where he was really fading a little bit. It looked like, um, but yeah, just two punch combinations, move around, you know, stop three punch combination, move again, move move a little bit, give him angles, you know, um, and better be of couldn't couldn't corner him. He couldn't he couldn't uh, cut the ring off on him. He did a few times, but like I say, when he did, they weren't that effective. Punt they weren't. They weren't um, really effective punches, even when they did land. And Bivol was able to get out of there and, you know, just control the rounds, round by round. It was his fight more so than Better Bev's fight, obviously. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to come on here and say that I haven't done a, you know, boxing or MMA 
video in a while. You know, they were doing pretty good at first. Maybe I should start if you want me to start doing predictions and uh, re results, recaps again. I will because, you know, I, I love these sports, even with all the bullshit that goes on in them, which is just disgusting to me. But, I mean, you know, I love the sport of boxing and MMA, obviously. <sighs> anyway, or the sport, sorry, not one sport. But anyway, um... Yeah, I'll be glad to do reactions again to those. Um, guys, if you're interested, I could maybe even do... Actually, you could see me watching the fights on Patreon. I don't know if that's possible. You know, the things are funny when it comes to MMA, especially UFC. And, you know, boxing with the copyright issues. So I don't even know if that would fly over on Patreon. Maybe, maybe not. Um, if, you, if you're interested in that, then, yeah, let me know some fights you want me to watch, you know, and react to. Um, that would be that would be interesting to just see my reaction, see how I'm scoring the fight. Maybe, uh, like I say, maybe you guys would be interested. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Um, and of course, let me know what you thought, what you had the fight scored, you know, who you thought won, uh, how you think the judges came to this ridiculous decision. All three of them had it wrong. Every one of them had it wrong. It was a majority decision. That means one judge had it a draw, which is crazy. And the other two idiots had it for Betrabiev. Unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. They should be banned from boxing forever as pretty much every judge should be, because every judge has an absolute BS scorecard, uh, more than one. There's no good judges in boxing, never has been as far as I'm concerned, because all of them are either corrupt or absolute morons. So anyway, um, just wanted to come on here and rant about that. I could not believe, could not believe the decision when I heard it. Unbelievable. But, um, Anyway, so yeah, congratulations to Bivol. Better be have had some good moments. He'll, I mean, of course, he's got the win now officially, so he he will go on to bigger and better things. Bivol will have to, you know, not start at the bottom. Of course, he'll get a good. I'm sure he'll get a good opponent, a, another big match, hopefully in his next fight as well. But they definitely need to do a rematch. That would be great. There really shouldn't be a need for a rematch, but now with these stupid judges there is one so which could be the reason they did it as well that could be part of it to make a rematch and make more money i don't know anyway just um i don't know what to say i don't know obviously nothing can be done about judges and boxing the only thing the only thing that can be done is to make sure you knock out your opponent that's that's the only that's the only solution for they can't take it away from you. Uh, although, ask Roy Jones about that. In 1997, Montel Griffin with the first fight. <laughs> he got a knockout and they took it away from him. So it can happen, but much more rare for that to happen than to be robbed of a decision. So yeah, you know, you get the knockout typically 99% of the time at least. They can't rob you that of that at least, but... um. That's it. That's basically it. That's the only solution is to just knock out your opponent every time. That's the only way to stop yourself from being robbed, pretty much. And even then, it can happen still. It's not impossible. <sighs> anyway, it's frustrating. But anyway, love the sport of boxing. Love the sport of MMA. Unfortunately, we have three idiots sitting around, you know, either not watching the fight or being paid off or just screwed up in the head. That And either way, whatever the case is of one of those things, they should not ever judge again. Anyway, guys, I said I'm gone.